I've struggled with this my whole life. Just made me so insecure. It's life changing. Thank you, Dr. Leibowitz. Once again, this is Dr. Jonathan Leibowitz at the Long Island Gynecomastia Center, Long Island Vaser Lipo Center. And on this gentleman, um, he comes from out of state uh, and he had gynecomastia surgery done before in the Philadelphia area. Uh, not by me again, by somebody else in the Philadelphia area. And they just did gland removal, which is not correct. He still has all of this. So he's got pseudo gynecomastia and he probably had gynecomastia, but he's got a donut excision here. The scar is pretty good actually. You don't even see the scar, but he's got a donut shaped um, uh, deficit there and all the fat around, all the fat in the armpit. And uh, this is not the appropriate operation. Again, this is not my work. This is somebody else's work. So he sought me out for my expertise in gynecomastia. So I want to mainly do liposculpture on him. Do vaser, high definition liposculpture through the stealth incisions. He's got a scar here and scar here already. That was not from liposuction. That was from a drain because once they, they did this, uh, they had to drain this and, and it, it just kind of adhered down and now the skin and the nipple is adherent to the muscle and I got to see what shape the muscle is but I'm not going to go back in here or if I will I'll just go in there to kind of free it up and, and, and do it but I want to lipo sculpt this I want to lipo transfer um, some of the fat from here into there sculpt and contour it so he doesn't have this kind of like step off deformity so i'm going to be marking him and you'll see that in a second really lipo sculpt here my delta pectoral groove lipo sculpt all the way down to this line he's got this natural fold here and again on this side go way back to the lats and really kind of mold this down and take minimal to nothing from here and really actually release this scar all the way up here to perfection. So he has this better chest. He, he doesn't have gynecomastia anymore. The gland is gone. But as you can see, he cannot take off his shirt. Uh, in, a, in, a, uh, in a shirt, he probably looks better than he did pre-op, but let's make him even better. All right. So here we go with the numbing, slowly and easily. We go up to your deltopectoral pectoral groove. and artistry. Science and artistry. That's the name of the game. Heart science, the vaser, and artistry is what I'm doing. Especially on reduce, on revisions, on botched.
So now I need to sculpt this. Create better space around this donut hole. I don't want to liposuction anything here. That's where he like really gouged out. But I need to kind of go here. So I figured instead of just putting fat in there and leaving all the fat in his underarm, let's sculpt him like we just did. So now I can, with my curved cannulas, Yeah, so what I'm doing now is he's from the previous surgery, he's had, he's got some adhesions. So what I want to do now, so I already lipoed it, I just want to release this so that it could redrape itself at a higher level away from this. So what I did is that it was a bot surgery from another doctor down in Philly. So I liposculptured all the way around there. He's got no gland there. Actually, it was actually carved out too much and a little bit of the muscle and everything. So what I just did then, you just saw, is that I released the scar tissue from the nipple on the muscle. So it's the nipple, the muscle. I released it so now it can move around and re-drape and re-adhere itself, hopefully to a higher and better location and not be stuck down to that muscle. On, off, wax on, wax off. Wax on, right hand, wax off, left hand. I love the smell of na napalm in the morning. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. It smells like victory.